Hey everyone, this is Tom. I'm going to do a series of videos on setting up a sound system, and this video is going to be the most basic one. This is just going to give you an, a layout of what exactly we're doing and give you a bunch of vocab, and that'll pretty much be it. Uh, there will be other videos if you want to go to the video on sound system setup and the video on running the mixer, you can go into the description and find it there. Also, uh, these videos are going to be broken up in indexed in the description. So in the in the description you'll see an index with all the times of where you can go to find certain things because I want to save you time and make make sure that you get exactly what you need as fast as you need it. We need to know some basic vocab before we begin. Uh, sorry if you're treating everyone like an idiot but I need to make sure you know this. Uh, let's just set the vision of everything. Uh, when sound waves hit a microphone the microphone turns them into electrical pulses. So we are going to be working with electrical signals until the speaker converts them back into sound waves. So everything that we're going to be working on involves electricity. Here are the random words that you will need to know. Uh, first is level. And level is volume. Only when you say level you're usually talking about an electrical signal, whereas volume is usually talking about sound waves. Next is noise. Uh, noise is the staticky signal that sounds like this. Every electrical component you're dealing with will generate some amount of noise, but you want it to be as low as possible. So you get solid equipment and learn how to use it well to get rid of noise. Signal to noise ratio. This is the difference in decibels between your full signal volume and the noise volume. The bigger the better. You want the sound of people's voices and everything to be a lot louder than the noise. Frequency. When you're talking about anything, uh, frequency is how often something repeats. When you're talking about sound, it's how many times a sound wave repeats. It's measured in hertz, which is how many times something happens in one second. It determines pitch. So low frequencies sound low and high frequencies sound high. Treble refers to high sounds and bass refers to low sounds. Because we're dealing with electrical signals, you need to know at least a little bit about electromagnetism to figure out if something's going wrong. Uh, so here's the basics. First is voltage. Voltage is electrical potential, the potential to make electrons flow. So all power and electricity comes from moving electrons. Uh, electrons kind of work like air pressure. Air wants to flow from a place of high pressure to a place of low pressure. Electrons want to flow from a place of high electron density, or charge, to a place of low electron density. The greater the difference in charge between the two places, the higher the voltage, and the more the electrons want to flow. Next is current. Current is kind of the flow rate of electrons. How many electrons are moving through your conductor or wire? Impedance is anything that will resist current. Resistors, inductors, and capacitors are all examples of things that do this. So impedance is the combination of all these. Uh, you can measure it in ohms. So there's a couple different ways to visualize this. One of the easiest that I can think of will be going down a hill. So voltage is the slope of the hill, and current could be how fast you're going. And impedance would be all the trees, foliage, and barriers that slow you down. So more voltage means more current, unless you have impedance slowing it down. And there's Ohm's law and all of its simplicity. Power. In electricity, uh, power is a combination of voltage and current. So it's how strong your charge is and how fast it's moving. A decibel is a tenth of a bell, which is a metric unit. And it's a measure of how loud a sound is. It follows a logarithmic scale which just means that it's the easiest measurement for us to use. We use the same logarithmic scale with the electrical signals that we're dealing with, so you will see decibels being used on all your sound equipment. There's much more to learn with decibel volts, uh, what they are and all that stuff, but right now we don't care. When you're using sound equipment, zero decibels is the full signal reference level. That means the signal is just the right level. Anything lower is considered negative, and higher is considered positive decibels. You want to aim for zero to get the best signal to noise ratio, unless your equipment is inadequate, which might be most of you. 
Interference. When we're talking about sound equipment, it pretty much just refers to any bad electromagnetic effect that different components have on each other. Any electrical current creates a magnetic field, and that usually is the source of interference. You need good equipment and a good setup to avoid it. A balanced line means that either your impedances at either end of the line are equal, or you're using a third wire to negate the interference that comes from not having balanced impedances. So you want to use balanced signals as much as possible to reduce noise. Next, uh, the signals that you're dealing with are alternating current electrical signals, meaning that the electrons flow back and forth, mimicking the sound waves. Uh, so, flashback to the Hill reference, this is kind of what we're doing, visually. At anywhere between 20 and 20,000 hertz, the fact that they're alternating current also means that you have to worry about the effects of capacitance and inductance. I'll have to give examples when certain circumstances come up, but for now, that's as far as we're going to go with electromagnetic stuff. So that's pretty much it for this video. The other videos will have a lot more vocab on your sound equipment stuff and how you're going to use it. But for now, I'll see you next time.